Hello. I'm Fonz. And, uh, this is the beta of a map called Subversion. And, uh, Doom World's own Sparks, I uh, made it. Or is making it. Um, I actually think that this is a pretty nice attempt for early on for a mapper. I actually really like a lot of the stuff that's going on here. Kind of simplistic visuals, um, minimalist design, uh, and he makes it look good. I like the little bit of texture variation between the uh, couple of rocks. Just it's nothing big, but it does look nice. A little, little misaligned, but you know, who's judging, right? I am. It's me. Nah, no, I'm kidding. Um, I really don't have to even kill these guys. Uh, one thing I will note about a lot of this, uh, this map is that a lot of the combat's fairly light, at least for now. Um, I think he's already gone back and reworked a few things. But this is primarily meant as just a feedback video. I actually don't even know if I'm going to wind up listing this. I like the uh, the reveal right here of these uh, chain gunners and whatnot. There is some nice uh, nice little running gun action going on here. Some of these secrets I don't understand how you're supposed to even figure out like that. I just wound up pushing that on my first playthrough, and I just heard the sound and I was like, oh, I guess that's something. Um, I didn't do it for any particular reason other than it just looked interesting. And I guess maybe that was the point. I'm not sure. But this is kind of a nice little secret. It just gives you a BFG. Uh, which is actually really cool. Because... Um, too many people focus too much on making like this absolute perfect logical progression and it's just not necessary like we, we've done it a thousand times with all of the thousands of maps that we've played already um, so it's cool seeing stuff like you know a VFG even in a pretty pretty easy map like this like this could very easily be like a map one slot of like a megawatt or something like that And yet you got this PFG, which I think is nice. These bulls, um, to kind of get into more of the gameplay side of, of things, uh, with monster placement and whatnot, I, I've liked everything pretty much up to this part. The first two bulls in the very beginning were a little bit useless, because uh, you really have never no reason to ever go back down there where those where they are. Um, I guess they just serve to catch people on like their first playthrough. You know, you see the bulls and you're like, okay, well, let me just take them out real quick. And then you get hit by the uh, shotgunners there, or possibly the imps. Uh, and to that degree, they might have some use, but even still, might as well not even be there. They would be more useful up front, or up, up top in that area. Um, the rest of the enemies going forward up until this part are good. Uh, these guys, not, not quite sure, not so much. Um, all they really serve is just the door as health right here and you get the berserk pack so you just kind of like walk like right here and just kind of do this I mean at least the punching is a little bit more interesting on PR boom than it is on cheesy doom but it's about all, all that I could say that's good about it um, no problems with those imps uh, that, that's good it would be nice to have like a rocket launcher just to kind of quickly clear them up with a little bit of hazard um, involved and I guess to this degree, this is the one time that you would need to come back down here. And that you might encounter those bulls again. <clears throat> I like the texturing of this area. Um, it, it fits the architecture that was done very nicely.
I, I have no idea why he went and did that, but it just looks really cute. It's it's kind of almost hard to notice, um, but it's cute. I like it. Hmm. See, now, my first playthrough of this map, I actually hadn't uh, gone this way first. I went the other way. And so I didn't encounter these two revs until pretty much the end of the map. And um, one reason why I'm playing it this way is because I'd like to see just how the difficulty ramps up going from this direction. Because from the other direction, I ran into a spot with four revenants, and not that it was a particularly too bad of an encounter. It was a little bit tight, and it was fun. Uh, it was probably my favorite encounter of the, of the map. Although I do say I like the monster variety in this one. And the, of course the use of the zombie men right there is just a little bit of fodder, a little feel good moment, some type of distraction also to give give the other monsters a chance to deploy, uh, which is nice. Um, but that other fight, it was just the first time you see revs, like everything else is pretty easy going. Like you see how this is all going fairly easily. Um, nothing too surprising. And that caught me like totally off guard. But, uh, we'll, we'll see how it is going from this direction. Now, I did find one of the secrets, um, on my first playthrough. I did not find the other one. Uh, I was actually curious to see if, to see what I'd even done by hitting that switch. So I did go look at it in, Do in uh, Doom Builder, and I actually did find the other secret. So I'll probably get that here in a little bit. Um, but I'm going to take a look at it, and I don't see how I would ever guess this particular one. But I'll get that, I'll get there when I get there. Um... Nice combat out here. Uh, one thing I love about the use of zombies is that they are just so fast to take down. They can provide some good threat. Um, and in the way that this is arranged with... Just just the way that the monsters are all arranged, the way that they all work together with the player and the environment. You can actually pretty well run in here and uh, take the zombies out. Um, I probably could have even ducked in here and used this for cover uh, to kill the remaining ones. And it probably would have made that a little bit more fun rather than just kind of ducking and covering around here necessarily for the very beginning of that. But then you also have these uh, Hell Knights that kind of work their way in here. And that's, uh, that's, that's a cool little touch, I like that. This does not look like, like a lift at all. That thing should be changed. Um, I mentioned to uh, Sparks one that I had gotten a little bit lost in this earlier. Uh, I didn't have, or I should say, there was a terrible glare on, on the screen, so it was kind of difficult to see everything anyway, like in detail. Um, but this was one of the reasons why I gotten lost, because that just it doesn't look like a, uh, a lift at all. I did put in a different MIDI for this uh, for this playthrough, um, not for any particular reason other than the fact that I've just heard D running way too much. Um, I don't think WAD should be shared with D running. That's a nice use of the um, wood five texture. I like that to get that little bit of banding on the uh, on the support. That's actually really cool. I'm gonna have to make sure and give props for that. Um, in text. Ooh, that's right. Can't get back that way. This is exactly where I got lost to, by the way. <laughs> well, I guess that would be obvious concern the fact that, that I mentioned that lift earlier. Funny, the area is actually not even that big. I like the use of the uh, of the enemies in this in this area so far. Um, even the specters in that kind of dark area to match with the uh, with the Hell Knight. I still do have to say that I I think that um, 
Oh shit. I think a rocket launcher would really do uh do wonders for making this level. Just the the pacing of it kind of move a little bit faster. Um, I think that's already been reported. But uh, making the pacing move a little bit faster, I think, would be nice. Uh, and I think a rocket launcher would help with that. It also, with the tight quarters in here, the relatively tight quarters, it would add some some good hazard um, to its use, which is always good. Oh shit. Oh, I hope this doesn't mean I die. Okay, good. <laughs> I didn't fall here before. I huh? wasn't sure if that would have been terrible. Oh, there is a rocket launcher. I don't know if I actually found this earlier. Did I find that? Maybe. It could have been earlier, though. It really could have been earlier in the map. So this is the other secret. Um, don't know how you're supposed to know to do this other than maybe just a kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? An inherent need for sadism maybe might kind of make you want to do this, but apparently that's the trigger. I don't know. I guess we can only assume that the author just shoots every hanging body he comes across. Just make sure Mussolini is dead. Just, just to check. Or Mussolini's general? I don't know. I forget who that who that was exactly. Okay. I think it would be nice, by the way, if you could jump down from up there. Um, I think that would be a, a good touch. In particular, like right here, because that, that's a dead end right up there. So if you could jump down from there, it would be nice just for players who are running back. Take the wrong turn after getting lost, you know, you don't have to keep fussing around with that. Um, I didn't see that blue key sitting there uh, on my first playthrough, I guess because I had grabbed it first. That's kind of interesting. Speaking of blue keys, um... Yeah, I... Well, actually, let, let me just let the problem kind of present itself. So this looks all well and good. Um... But yeah, then then that. Like, it's... It's, it's um... Intuitive at first, um... But I think that the, the ending effect is kind of not quite so intuitive. I think it'd be better if they both, uh switch to a different color if they were made to a different texture color I think this is all I think this is all stock textures um, and so maybe it wouldn't be quite be possible but then they should have some sort of marker uh, that differentiates them other than just the red blue because they switch right into the other one and from here you come back with the blue key 50 50 shot you're gonna wind up having to hit hit both of them because you're gonna guess the wrong one and it's not that big of a deal um, and especially it's not an area that's where you're put under pressure or anything like that so you're only losing like a half of a second but it is just kind of a minor annoyance and just something that I guess uh, presentation wise could just be made a little bit more clear not that it really matters Ooh, that did not work out as planned Now, I understand that was originally an arch file, um, and he switched it to a Baron. Honestly, I think both of them are bad choices. Um, I would go with the Revenant, especially considering the fact that there, there's your four Revenant trap right there. Uh, that would be a nice little introduction to like, hey, you're going to be fighting Revenants here in a second. Um, considering the fact that you only see Revenants really 
on the path to get the red key. Um, and they're only just in that one spot, really, even there. But, so, th there, I mean, it'd, it'd be good to kind of just give players that little heads up. Um, I guess I'm just going to go with this. See, it's not that it's a particularly difficult encounter, especially when you know it's coming, but that's definitely the toughest encounter of the entire map. By far. And once again, I do like the uh, kind of minimalistic and clean visuals to all this. It looks nice. Um, that looks a little bit messed up. Uh, up there, wrong... Wrong flat choice, um, but that's a minor issue. Alright. And actually, with that, we're done with the map. I did slightly better, or worse on items this time than I did last time. Um, but that's okay. It's a fun little map. I really like it. Uh, it's it, definitely for somebody who's, I don't know how many maps Sparks has made thus far, but from what I understand, he is at least somewhat newer to mapping. And so for somebody somewhat newer to mapping, this is a really good, really, really good little map. And uh, it's, it's actually a lot of fun to play. I would like it if the combat was a little bit more, I guess, pressuring would be maybe the word. Um, and maybe if some of the tedious, uh, kind of tediousness issues were kind of just ironed out a little bit in favor of just creating a little bit more pressuring um, encounters. And part of that would be giving the player better weaponry. Um, I mean, like, for example, you give them the BFG, like, right there in a secret. Um, there is no reason to use that. It is totally unnecessary for the entire map, which kind of makes this placement a little bit funny. But at the same time, you know, you get the player BFG. Why not give them a reason to use it? Give, give him a rocket launcher too. I mean, you give him the super shotgun right in the beginning. How many super shotgun grinds have we have we had? I say give give him more interesting weapons. I like that you give the uh, pretty much all the weapons in this. That's that's nice. Um, and there is something to be said about good spacing of them all, but I don't know. I think that I think that a lot could be done to make this map more fun if there was maybe say. Instead of like so many bulls, like if there was maybe more revenants, you could play like a plasma gun or a rocket launcher, something like that, so that they can kind of still run through the map just the same as they could now, but against kind of a higher opposition with a little bit more stakes, um, or a little higher stakes. Um, in addition to that, just kind of most of the most of the combat of this is is basically of the incidental variety. Um, you know, you're running corridors and you're meeting monsters. Um, I do like uh, the, the use of the turreted monsters in several places here. They definitely add a lot to the gameplay, and so good on you for that. Um, but definitely definitely still some stuff to work on. Um, this was a pretty fun encounter. This one right here, I think this one really could have been fleshed out a little bit more just for how interesting and potentially dynamic the area right here is. Um, little things like that. But yeah, anyway, good stuff, Sparks. Um, I look forward to seeing this map as you uh, start finishing it up and rolling it out the door, man. Definitely look forward to your next one. Cheers.